everyone, I'm Adele, and this is Fulcrum and Four, where we give you a look into some of the new features in Fulcrum. Recently, we've had a lot of exciting updates focused on increased nesting compatibility in work orders, faster and more intuitive bombs and routings, and increased flexibility in reporting. First up, we've redesigned the bomb and routing builder. Building accurate bombs and routings is crucial to getting accurate job cost estimates, turning around competitive quotes, and giving the system the data it needs to automate processes like scheduling. So we fully redesigned the bomb and routing builder to make it as intuitive and as quick as possible. With this update, we've made it easier to upload bombs from other files and to create bombs and routings on the fly. You can add operations, items, and materials all from this view without having to leave. To add more operations, click here, and I can pick my operations from the list, like a laser cutting and a bending operation, or I can search in this bar for a welding operation. In order to add run times, simply click on the operation, edit my times for setup, labor, and machine time over on the left. After you've finished building your bomb and routing, you can expand all to see all the items and associated routings, as well as click on the routing bar to see labor, material, and machine estimates for all steps. Next up, I wanna show you a few features that are still in beta, but will be available to everyone soon. The first is work orders. In Fulcrum, work orders allow you to group similar operations on multiple different jobs. A common application is nesting multiple parts on one sheet. You can either make work orders directly from a sales order, which groups all the operations of these two jobs together, or you can make a work order from the production tab and choose which jobs you'd like to group. Once you've created the work order, you can upload a setup file in a PDF format. This one's a ProNest file, but other systems like Boost and SigmaNest also have compatible formats. The uploader uses AI to parse the data on the PDF and populate the work order with the expected yields and runtimes of these nests, saving a lot of manual data entry and setting you up for much more accurate job costs. Now, if we go over to job tracking, operators can log into this work order to track their actual time. Up at the top right, they can see the nesting details. They can click on the images in each of these sheets to see the nest. Operators can see all options of possible pieces of material to use and track remnants as well. This will then feed back to your jobs for more accurate job costing data based on actual material usage and cut time for these jobs. If you're interested in joining the beta, reach out to your account or launch manager. We'd love to get your feedback as we continue to improve grouped work. And finally, we have a new report builder, also in beta. You'll now see a new option under your navigation bar to the left called reporting. Here you can see some of the built-in reports that we've pre-made for you, and you can use them as a starting point and edit however you'd like. Or you can make your own report by clicking on the new report button. First, choose a data set. Then drag the variables that you wanna see to the X and Y axes on the right here. Currently, you have access to sales data, but we'll be adding more data sets in the future. Reach out to your launch or account manager to see if you would be a good candidate to test this feature. All of these updates are to make Fulcrum the best possible tool for sheet metal fabricators. These are just a few of them, but if you'd like to see more, go to fulcrumpro.com slash product dash updates to see weekly updates. If you're interested in seeing how any of these features work in your instance of Fulcrum, reach out to your launch or account manager. Thanks for watching. See you next time.